Why rank choice voting? Because it gives us all the best chance to elect a candidate who not only appeals to their base of supporters, but to the broader group of voters that they ultimately will represent. Ranked choice voting eliminates costly, low turnout and unrepresentative local primaries that left you with only two choices in November. Now you have more choices, and instead of just choosing one candidate, you get to rank your choices. And I think that's pretty cool. Before ranked choice voting, voter turnout in primary elections was as low as 5% in some Minneapolis communities. And those voters were older, whiter, and wealthier than general election voters. And here's how it works. You rank your choices first, second, and third, knowing that if your favorite candidate doesn't have enough votes to win, your vote will continue to count until one candidate reaches that winning threshold. Ranking your second choice and your third choice does not affect your first choice. If your first choice gets eliminated, then your vote will transfer to your second choice. If your second choice gets eliminated, then your vote will transfer to your third choice. Voting for only one candidate, or for the same candidate more than once, will not improve that candidate's likelihood of winning. If you vote for only one candidate and he or she gets eliminated, your ballot won't count anymore. Under ranked choice voting, candidates must campaign towards a majority, as well as second and third choice support. Candidates with too little support are limited, and the votes from these candidates are redistributed based on those voters' second and third choices. This process continues until one candidate reaches the winning threshold. Maximize the power of your vote by ranking your three choices. Ranked choice voting is used around the world and across the country, showing that it's good for democracy, fostering civility, and requiring candidates to talk to all of us. That means less negative campaigning, misinformation, and spin, and more people voting out of hope, not fear. It means a government less polarized and less beholden to special interests, and more able to compromise and solve problems on behalf of all of us. So if you're a fan of ranked choice voting and a democracy that's more representative of the people, by the people, and for the people, please share this video. Tweet it, Facebook it, and email it to everyone you know. As citizens and voters, we've got a powerful voice. Let's use it.